got a phone call yesterday from my friend Matt. You remember him from the tunnels? Well, in this tunnel, I would say 2.5 million liters of water per day. And he told me that he had rediscovered something of extreme importance here in the heart of the mother city. And so I'm here at Fort Vainant because apparently there is some crazy stuff. It's of like massive historical importance. I'm pretty much like the second person besides him to kind of be here and to go in and explore this. And so you're coming with me. May I present to you? Fort Vaynant and Matt. When was the last time someone was here? Ah, oh, flip, I think about maybe 50 years ago. So the entrance is down by this gun. This is the disappearing gun. And there's probably about only two or three in this country. Check those bad boys out, they've still got some rounds there. We've just managed to obtain the keys to a bunker that has not been opened up since World War II times. Check this out. All the equipment used to stuff the guns. Guys, this is really insane. The, the network of tunnels that are underneath the fort here is crazy. And there's little rooms, the, the, the cartridge store room up there, and different areas you can go around. It's like a labyrinth of just history. Yo! <laughs> And, that, and that's the brush that used to clean the inside of the bunker. Look, look how big the bore is on the cannon. Jeez. That's massive. So it's very self-evident that these barracks and these tunnels have not been kind of manned for decades. This place has seen so much change and the whole world has just changed around it. So this was actually restored in 1891. So what's so unique about what we're doing right now is that Fort Vainant has been locked down because it's kind of like a, an active army base, but no one's really allowed in here. As I came through the entrance, there were guards with big fully automatic weapons, and it's, it's kind of kind of exciting. What led to this, this video, this vlog, is that Matt came here a couple days ago and basically rediscovered a ton of stuff that had just been locked away and forgotten about. Um, this bunker that we're going into now hasn't been touched for about 40, Two forty-three years when they shut it down and he went in there and it was just insane he said look you got to get your butt here right now down we go what is this like the back of a torpedo or something like that something like that Jeez, they just stacked it up here yeah. cartridge lift it, <laughs> it still works, it still works. <laughs> and this was all built in the 19 40s, the Second World War. I mean, some of the things. Let's go. Let's go sneak in here. Let's go see what's in here. Oh, okay. after you, bro. You go first. Okay, I'll go first but... Wow. But this is like. What is this? Oh, for well, the Victoria in 1953. That dude. You reckon? How about that? <laughs> There's probably nothing inside. Oh, no, it's empty. Oh. Sorry, guys. Okay. Nice. Hold the phones. Okay. Oh, that's 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 real German. That's the German. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Oh my word. So this is the catch. Yeah. I mean, this is a tunnel then. Is it a protection, I guess? Yeah, but Are these the same rocks that the fort's built out of? Yes. Fort, this is Castle. the rock. This is the rock that comes off Robin Island, Table Mountain quarries, Table Mountain bluestone as we know it. And these bricks look very similar to the ones in the tunnel when we went to go look. That's right. These ones look very much like the tunnels in town. You see the dark brick? That's brick from England that was imported on a ship in 1830. Uh, they came over on the ships they, from India. Yeah, they were brought here, most of them, because they didn't have the ovens to burn them hot enough. Mm. Wow, Matt, that is insane. The funny thing is that everyone just rides past here and sees these couple of cannons over here, and they don't realize what's behind it, this massive labyrinth time capsule. It's insane. Well, guys, that's Fort Vainant, and we live in a place that's just so steeped with history. I don't think we realize it. Guys, thanks so much. So, guys, if you want to do this tour, I don't think it's actually going to be active for another couple of weeks but you can put your name down on the waiting list with matt and guys if you enjoyed this video please share it spread the love cape town's got a lot to offer everyone uh, you can go up there and like my page above or if it's on youtube subscribe below and otherwise thanks for watching guys